Lance Hope for the Record Wave TV coming to you live from the Circle Village, all powered by the mighty Inner Circle. And of course, it's all about the Reggae Wave. We have Spread the Dub in the house with us today, and we're going to talk more with them. Um, hi, my name is Mick. Uh, I am lead singer and rhythm guitar player for Spread the Dub. My name is Kevin. Uh, I play bass in Spread the Dub. Uh, back in 2008, we had a uh, open reggae jam at the Funky Buddha down in Boca. And, uh, okay, so who came out of, who actually came out of the jam yourself and who else? Uh, we had Johnny uh, playing drums, Johnny Fresh. We had Boris uh, Fingerman. <laughs> he, uh, he was playing lead guitar. We had uh, myself on vocals and rhythm guitar. Um, we had Flint on, he played a Chapman stick. He would play the bass on this Chapman stick. Like 14 strings on it, you tap on it. It was it was wild, man. It was crazy. Um, and then that was the original lineup for you know a year and a half. The jam sessions at Funky Buddha. Who actually is still involved? Um, pretty much it's Mick, and then um, we we've been jamming with Johnny on drums a little bit too. So we got it's a rotating cast at, at drums and keyboards, pretty much. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, well, tell us, fill us in a little bit on the current band. Tell us how the, who fills out the rest of the current band for Spread the Dub right now. Um, uh, my name is Kevin. I play bass. Um, we got uh, Corey on guitars. Um, we've been using Johnny on drums and uh, Mike McCleary from Bear in Mind and uh, his other bands. He's in like six or seven bands. Local musician. And then. Uh, Sam has been playing keys and trombone. Nice. Yeah. And how is how is the chemistry with this this lineup, and how is this band working out? Is it is everybody consistent with the sound? Is the sound changing? Is the chemistry there with everybody? Tell us a little bit. Give us a little insight on. How I think uh, the lineup we got now, everybody everybody grooves together. You know, we mesh together real well. Everybody's got the same interests. Everybody's got the same, you know, taste in music. Uh, we all love to play reggae, rock steady, and, uh, you know, the sound involves, you know, it, it continually evolves. And um, right now, I, I like where we're at. You know, we're, we're, we're doing a lot of upbeat stuff and, you know, real good, you know, feel good music, you know, get people dancing. And uh, everybody, everybody digs it. Does, does the band have any albums or EPs or recorded music out as of right now? Uh, right now we've been releasing like pretty much bootleg live shows and stuff, but uh, we finished recording uh, our first self-titled EP and uh, it's on its way to get reproduced and packaged and everything. We'll have it out in the new year, in January. I say, and is there a name for that? It's called Spread the Dub. Spread the Dub. Yeah. Alright, and what is, what is your immediate goals right now? as far as the band is concerned? Um, just get this CD out, and then uh, as soon as we do, you know, get right back in the studio, start recording a new one, and uh, we definitely like to hit the road and uh, take the music to other places, you know, other states. Are our shows still um, very much in the forefront right now, or are you guys taking a back seat, waiting until the CD's done, or what's the approach? Uh, we still have our, our weekly gig on Mondays and at Reef Road, which has been great for us. And, and uh, we have spots, you know, Fat Cats and, and spots like that. We try to hit up the three counties, you know, try to get up north in Palm Beach and then in, in Broward and down in Miami. And, uh, but um, yeah, we're taking a little bit of backseat. We're going to try and switch from those like three hour bar gigs and try and do more once the CD comes out, try and do like featured shows and stuff. If, you know. Yeah, oh, I believe that's the next step anyway. Yeah. Um, and I believe that something that will really help launch your guys' career and put you out on the road more on those more of a showcase concert style uh, live events is your participation in the Reggae Wave. Uh, let's first get your, your feelings about the project and we'll take it to the next step. I dig it, man. I, I like, you know, the fact that all these local bands, all these great bands that we've you know, seen play shows and we played shows with, to get them all in one CD together, um, you know, playing their, their best tunes is, is awesome. You know, I, I like it a lot. It gives us like a sense of community, you know, which is 
real good the music scene, especially down here in South Florida. We have two tracks on there. One is called Be Free, which is more of an up tempo style. Like you said, it's kind of like a feel good hang dance drink, drinking song. And uh, then we have the other one, Politics, which is more of like a dubby kind of, uh, it's kind of like our more experimental type of sound. Right on. And I just like to say, you know, check us out. We, we play all over uh, South Florida. And, uh, you know, we got, like you said, we got Monday nights at Reef Road, and they're insane, so I mean, we play shows all the time, we'd love everybody to come out, dance, have a good time, listen to some good you know, reggae music. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys, uh, yourself and uh, Inner Circle for letting us be a part of this, I think it's a great thing. Uh, like Mick said, it's all the bands coming together to help form the scene, and with, with a great band like Inner Circle attached, I, I think it has a legitimate chance to uh, really put South Florida reggae in a good position.